Ahoy band gamers, we're going to be starting our practice session. So for warm-ups, as this is an audition practice, I'll just start with scales because we have to know them anyways. Um, I'll start from G mate. Instead of last time I went a little slower, this time I'm going to try to just like get through them and see where that goes. But I'll try to use a drone for all of them just to make me sound a little more tolerable. Okay, this is G, this is G major. Okay, this is Concert C. This will be concert F. Concert B flat. Mm -hmm. 
too much time on one scale for this particular exercise. I want to try to get through a couple of them, or a bunch of them. to at a later time but that's definitely one of the ones that's like I gotta like kind of lock it in especially a higher register but we get there all right this is concert E flat So with that one, I'm going to probably have to really compensate because I think I start a little sharp, especially when I'm trying to get the note out, but we'll see. <laughs> Try it. I'll go one octave because what I really want to work on this is getting the first note in tone with a good tone. So <laughs> concert A flat A 
that's gonna be a little tough too, but we'll I think it's better it's better gonna probably gonna be better than B flat. So we'll just <laughs> A starting note will be fine. Obviously, as you can hear, it's just the top note that will be a little eh. <laughs> I think it'll be okay. That's like fine for now. I want to work on for both B flat for anything that goes above um, high E. I'll, I'll focus on those in a separate thing just to make sure I can get the high notes like out. But for right now, let's go into D flat major. Sorry, these ads are getting in the way of my music. Okay. So this is D flat major. <laughs> yeah, this is one of those notes. Um, so low, so low D flat is going to be one of those notes where I'm going to have to like, I don't think there's a set embouchure for it for me yet, so I just have to like try to muscle through it. For this one, I, the tone's fine. I think the tone sounds well relative to the drone. I just have to make sure I hit that the first note really well. <laughs> heard that's more of a technical thing which I'm not focusing on right now right now I think the tone with the D flat is good those are the flats next time either in practice or outside of practice I'll work on the sharps but I want to move let's move into the etudes Okay, 
So we're just mm, also on this one part here, the ascending eighth notes. try to work on this one chunk here uh, with two ascending eighth note parts and then we'll see what activation we get. four measures and then try to make that faster so <laughs> switch my embouchure but it's not going down still so I'm wondering how I'm gonna do that octave change <laughs> Thank 
change is really killing me. I can't get it down right now. I'll ask Mr. Greenis tomorrow if I can do anything for like a fix, for, but for right now I can't ship. I'm like doing both my finger change and an embouchure change and it's not really going down so I'll have to see if how to remedy that at some point. <laughs> I shouldn't go faster if the, if the octave changes aren't that good, but at the moment, I don't, I'll try to see what I can do. I don't know. Maybe the reads just dry, but it's really not converting right now, which is kind of concerning. Okay, I water my read a little bit. Let's see if this does anything. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
one it will be good if I play out a little bit I think that will there I'll try to compensate tone for tone now as I said and as I found out with my other tonal studies I'll try to bring my embouchure down open up my embouchure and try to compensate lower but otherwise I think I'll have to for this one I have to just work on octave work I'll just work on um, interval and jump and jump work and maybe like see what how my bassoon reacts to things because I because I've been making pretty significant changes across each of the notes and they're not really translating but we'll have to see so next so this one I'll do this one a little bit so the 39 the Largo So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Two. I'll just start, I'll just do this one slow. some sharps really quickly I'll just do the first I'll just try to get the first bar down um, the second part of this goes into some pretty high notes that I want to focus on individually in the in the session okay. 
So we'll start slow for this one and then we'll try to go faster. <laughs> Listen to McGovern Senior later or tonight maybe because I think I'm playing the right notes just doesn't sound right. Try to go a little faster. I'll just keep repetitioning it. I'll just do some repetition. Um, I'm gonna do slurred for now. Actually, I'll try slurred just to see if it's any easier. Just for the technicality purpose, see if I can get the notes easier. <laughs> time where it's slow and then we'll go faster and then that will be the practice. and that will be the practice. 
question for the band directors is this is this like on the relatively easier end of the etudes for instruments because if so this is quite embarrassing because this is quite a doozy for me um as you can as i've been playing through it's something i can't play with a lot of practice but you know when the etudes is this hard from the get-go you kind of lose some confidence in your playing ability but Otherwise, I mean, well, the practice went fine. Um, uh, for internet, I guess the one thing, uh, the one glaring thing right now is interval work and and like, um, and making those jumps. But otherwise, I think the practice went well. I'll try to next time I practice this stuff. I'll try to get to the higher stuff, the higher register just i'd rather have miss Car mr cardenas's counsel on that before i move on to it but anyways that's it uh, thank you for watching